So when it comes to generating seamless textures using AI, you think it's as simple as picking a prompt like seamless, let's do a grass texture and we're gonna have it generate something for this. But you're gonna see, it's not actually gonna generate something seamless. Okay, so all of these look pretty promising. I'm just gonna pick my favorite, which happens to be this one, which I can guarantee you is not gonna be seamless, not only because it happens to be every time, uh, but we also have this logo in the corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna download this texture and we are going to make it seamless. So. I'm gonna download this texture. Next, you're gonna open up your favorite image editor being uh, Photoshop or GIMP or something like this. And I will show you that it's not actually uh, tileable and seamless. So load in the texture into here and then do the equivalent of going to layer, transform, offset, and do this width divided by two and height divided by two. What this is going to do is it's gonna offset it by half the image horizontally and vertically, so we can actually see where these seams are. You can actually see them, and you can of course see this logo, and this is not seamless at all. Um, especially if we go into Blender and load in this texture, just to show you again that it's not seamless. You load this in here, you increase the scale, and you can clearly see the tiling. So what you wanna do is you wanna do this offsetting. I'm then going to export this as a new image. So texture, offset, and we're actually now, after we export this, we're gonna use Dolly again to make it seamless is the idea. So open up Dolly and we can go to upload an image and load in the uh, texture offset, skip cropping. And the idea here is we're gonna use this erase tool, the inpainting tool to say, generate texture uh, wherever we have the seam. So we're gonna have it do it for us, making it seamless. So I'm just gonna pick a generous area that covers uh, quite a bit of the seam. And uh, we can type in the same prompt. Seamless grass texture, just so we have consistency, and hit generate. And what it's going to do is it's gonna fill in this kind of in-painting area. So I'm gonna hop for that, hop to that. So here you can see we have a very weirdly generated option. I'm just gonna go to the one of these other ones. So this one's good. That one's not okay, and that one's okay. So just pick one of the generations that looks pretty good. Click accept, and now uh, we can download this new texture. So uh, this is gonna be texture almost seamless. Why, why is this not seamless? Let me show you. Again, I'm gonna open up the GIMP, and I'm gonna load in this new texture, which you're gonna see it's almost seamless because it has this logo in the corner. We're gonna do this layer transform offset by half, and what it should look like is it should look like a perfectly seamless image except for this logo. So actually the fact that this looks seamless is very good, it's very promising. To get rid of this logo, I'm just gonna now use some uh, in-painting, or not in-painting, clone stamping. So pick a size, and we are gonna clone stamp part of the image and just hide it. Maybe I should clone stamp something a bit higher. And again, you can do the equivalent in your photo editing software. So what we have at this point is a layer where I can offset it by half. Remember, that's where it didn't look seamless and now it looks seamless every time. So if I do it again, each time we do it, it's gonna be seamless. And just to prove it, I'm going to export this as texture seamless. And I'm gonna export that out, load it into Blender. So this is our final texture. And now you can see it's already tiling at a large scale. So uh, we wanna make sure we increase the scale and you can see that it's tiling. Yes, there's kind of repetitive patches, but you don't see any of the seams. So that is how you make a seamless texture uh, using AI.